Okay, nick show coags. Get to know you, show me Tim Khbawal and Khshis Chikoy. Hello, all my relatives. I happily greet all of you. If you are able, we would like you. We would like you to come in and fill these middle seats because we're going to be speaking a little bit of Blackfoot. We need to be able to spit on you. Okay, it's a bit of a shower. We're going to cleanse away the negativity. Come close. Okay, you don't have to stay where you are. Nistua gok spupi, nimchtut sita bi mamioi xaga bogag sputs takik sa agag shemag sa gasu u. Nikchist an estate ni a itso yochkumi nin an estate ni sikapi nach six itso yoch. Udagimaki, Ishkitsikam, Neat the Gagshamakwan, Napiaki, Nitabin Scott Seam Scott Fox. Hello, my relatives. My name is Turtle. I come from the fish eaters, the many children, the chokers, and the many warriors clan. It's an honor to be your MC here this morning. I'll turn it over to my co MC. Uh, oh, you're probably wondering. I thought Nappi was taller, right? If you're looking at your program, Eugene Brave Rock. But remember, Nappi is a trickster. He's a shapeshifter. So now that you're, you're probably looking up and you're wondering, who's this Baskatstugi up front? And Baskatstugi means flirty ears. It's a Blackfoot thing. When a man has two braids and they're behind his ears, that's called Baskatstugi. He's, he's got flirty ears. When he's married, the braids cover his ears. So a little bit of Blackfoot uh, knowledge for you. For us Blackfoots, we flirt with our ears. That's how romantic we are. So I see a lot of ears out there. Calm down. I'll turn it to our co-MC to introduce herself. Tanse, good morning. Kihio tia skoyo natsiga soon. Shinatike natsiga soon. Um, I don't have a huge introduction in my language just yet, as I'm still learning it, the Cree language. Um, I love the beautiful introduction when anyone is speaking in their own language. So it's definitely an inspiration listening to it. I love it. And I can't wait till I can do my full introduction in my own language also. Um, I, again, I'm very grateful to be here. Thank you for having me as the co MC, And I will do a little bit more of my introduction once uh, we have our opening prayers. Now I will introduce our, our opening prayer. Anatsoyi uh, Kayaki, Miss Alvin Mountain Horse, pretty mink woman in her class. Apach Sogatsimi Bogags, the weasel shirt children are going to do our opening prayer. Thank you. Okay, nice and Thank you to our precious youth. Right over here, girls. Girls, come over here. And so our children, 
prayed for your moms, your dads, your grandparents, and your families. They prayed for all of us here. What a big blessing that is. And if you see their smiles in their faces, our children are reminding us, Agyach bigyatsit nibat bitsin. Agyach bigyatsit. It means to enjoy life, to enjoy what you're doing. And there's the coded message in our language. It means to love yourself. Agyach bigyatsit nibat bitsin. Thank you to our children. Next speaker. So we're going to go into our opening remarks from one of our board members on the program agenda, Crystal Day Chief Abikshist Stikyaki is the white beaver woman, our board member, and she will come and deliver her opening remarks. Thank you. In Thank you, Scotty, for that introduction. And thank you to the K-5 immersion class, Blackfoot immersion class in Alvin, for that wonderful prayer. I'm honored to speak on behalf of the Blood Tribe Department of Health Board of Directors today. It is a pleasure to bring greetings to all at the Blood Tribe Health Fair on Youth Day. That is our focus today is the youth, and it's very good to see representation from <clears throat> the schools on and off reserve. Our collective, our collective commitment is to build a healthier, stronger community. We believe that in empowering our youth, we lay the foundation for a brighter future for everyone. As a nurse myself for 37 years and a proud member of the board, I'm deeply committed to fostering an environment where our young people can see themselves in health and wellness related careers. Just want to um, make note, many, many years ago, I attended the Cartston High School and we had a career fair which brought in a lot of um, different careers to present uh, RCMP, the nursing, um, there was many um, presenters there. Also as a um, uh, native girl growing up, and my father, the late Woodrow Goodstriker, always instilled in me that I either become a nurse or I become a teacher. So I wasn't prepared to be the teacher, and so my, my career goal was to be a nurse. And I see a lot of young people, a lot of our young youth going into health careers. And that makes me happy. We still need to fulfill a lot more occupations in the health careers. We have a group of physicians today that will be speaking. We have a selection of nurses from our community. But there's so much more in the health careers that I'd like our youth to think about. We have occupational therapists, we need physiotherapists, we need lab and x-ray, we need a gamut of health careers because our future is here on the reserve. We will be opening soon a brand new hospital located on the blood reserve, hopefully within the 10 years, and I could be a part of that and see a lot of our youth occupying those positions there. So I'd like to thank the previous board and the administration for looking forward into our health careers. To the youth in our audience, you are the future. You carry our hopes, dreams, and the potential to create a better world. However, navigating the complexities of growing up can be challenging. That is why it is crucial for you to have access to strong mentors and leaders. And it was a role of the mothers, the grandmothers in our tribe to nourish our children and be the forward thinkers of our community. 
If you have a strong mother, grandmother, or even a female figure in your family, please lean on her for, for advice. They are there to give advice as our role was before, uh, you know, colonization. So please honor your mothers, your grandmothers, and I, and I don't want to leave out the fathers as well because many fathers and grandfathers have been excellent role models to their children. I want to thank the Health Fair Planning Committee. This was not an easy task, Elena. <laughs> Your hard work and dedication have made the Health Fair possible, providing a platform for us to connect and to learn from our mentors and leaders. At this time, I'd like those that are part of the Health Fair Planning Committee to stand up and we'll give you recognition. All those that are in here, the presenters, Thank you very much. So we can learn so much from another, and today is a wonderful chance to do just that. I'd like to thank everyone for attending today. Please enjoy the rest of the fair. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, next, we would like to welcome to the stage again for opening remarks, Cash Shade. Also, I'm told his name is Sequina, but he can explain that. Oki Domus Kanatani, Mr. Nitanako Sakuina. Hello and good morning, everyone. My name is Cash Shade, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer with the Blood Tribe Department of Health. Just want to start off by saying thank you to Alvin and your K-5 students for the wonderful prayer as well. <clears throat> thank you all for joining us today at the Blood Tribe Health Fair here at the, the youth-focused uh, um, day of our event. Today we come together to celebrate our Blood Tribe youth and to provide everyone here with an opportunity to connect with our health and wellness role models. We had some great uh, speakers already yesterday and um, sorry if the, you weren't able to come, but I know we have another great lineup of, of speakers here today, including our, our young physicians from the community. We aim to inspire the next generation of doctors, nurses, paramedics, and all health professionals through the experiences and opportunities that we're here to share with you all today. However, we cannot ignore the challenges that our community faces, particularly with the issues of addictions and substance use on their blood reserve. <clears throat> but rest assured, the Blood Tribe Department of Health, alongside our partners and other Blood Tribe entities, including our Chief and Council and leadership, we are, we are taking decisive action to address this crisis. But we cannot tackle this issue alone. We need the support and involvement of our entire community to succeed. So I thank you all for being here today. I encourage you to connect with our information booths out in the halls our speakers and our teams here today. Um, I, I, I'm still really blown away from the presenters yesterday, for those of you that weren't here. Um, people like Wacy Rabbit, our panel of uh, persons with lived experience, the champions from the community that have, have, have fought this uh, opioid crisis battle and, and, and won their, their own battle with addictions. It, that's such a powerful message that I think we all need to keep in mind that there is hope. There is, uh, there is light at the end of some of our struggles, and um, that's what I really want the youth to, to take away from, from this event. I'd also like to extend my heartfelt thank you to the dedicated organizers like Elena and our team. Um, they put tireless effort into, into putting on this event, and um, just want to thank you for your commitment to our community. It's, it's so commendable. Um, Together, we can overcome any obstacles and build a brighter, healthier future for our community. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so before we get the 
um, the physicians panel up here. I do want to explain a little bit um, about who I am and introduce myself a bit so you, are, so you know who I am. Um, and it works out perfect, you know, that it is a bit of a conference. There's speakers and everyone talking about, you know, the, the crisis going on, addictions and that kind of lifestyle. I want to be cautious with my words. Um, I was, I'm a former professional boxer. I boxed for quite a few years. Um, I fought on the undercards of like ES, ESPN, Sportsnet, TSN, things like that. And it took a lot, a lot, a lot of dedication, a lot of healthy living, healthy habits, clean eating, um, crazy hours of working out, trying my best to be there for my kids as much as I could. I've, I've been a single mom pretty much their whole life. Um, I'm also an actress. I do voice acting, stunt acting and acting. I'm part of the Canadian Actors Union. Um, I'm an international model, so I've walked on the runways in New York Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week, Fiji International Fashion Week, I walked Vancouver Fashion Week, multiple shows in between everywhere I facilitate, modeling workshops, um, all these things, and I'm not standing up here to like boast about what I do, it's just to explain. These are some of the really, really incredible things that I've been able to do since I switched my life to a cleaner lifestyle. When I was younger, I was lost in addictions. I grew up on the Fish Lake Métis settlement. Um, I didn't always make the best choices. I had my daughter very young. I was 15 when I got pregnant and 16 when I had my first child. Raised her on my own. And I have a little bit of spoken word to share. I have a little bit of a spoken word to share with you um, to explain a little bit of my story and what I went through and what I had to fight through to get to where I am today. I seen it all, I hate it all. I wish it never would have happened. I seen it all, I did it all, and at the time I thanked the creator that I started rapping. See, I was lost in the world, such a confused little girl. I didn't know if it mattered if I lived or died each day. I didn't know if anyone cared when I did things my own way. I lived every day like my last, just dependent on my blast. So many homies gone so fast. To the streets, to the drugs, I thought it would have brought me home to my bros, to my sis, to so many people that I miss. Just take this verse and reminisce about the life I used to live. Make it heard in your world, maybe save a little girl. Give her hope in her breath and hopefully prolong her death. You see, I walked through it, cried about it. Now, simply, I simply rap about it. But if ever they decide to go and take a look, they'll see it's shook up. So many families mixed up in the negativity instead of feeding off my own cre creativity. Imagine your kids coming home looking beat from some cousins or some adults or some kids on the street. Guys, we're living in this concrete jungle, gang banging, hustling, some of us even slanging. Take a look at her eyes, it's finally getting at her. It's poisoning her body, her spirit and mind, and maybe one day it's her body we'll find. Tucked in a corner, battered and beaten. The situation's heating up for us all. We gotta put a stop to it now before more of us fall. Thank you. After hearing that, I need your help. I need you to repeat after me. It's never too late to change and make it right. One more time. It's never too late to change and make it right. So I was thinking, thinking, my mind was always thinking. I had a temporary fix, was heavy whiskey drinking. You see, I never quite got to junkie tricking, but I was going under like my boat was sinking. I had every kind of habit pulling at my heartstring, and just because I was young, they thought that I'd try anything. 
It would take like a month or two to get off a binge, but I was always too chicken to hit that syringe. I had packs, old perks, out of vans in my hand. I was always on the move, but never with a plan. I almost lost my everything, even my fam. There's not many highlights trying to flip a gram, but I thought it was a business that I could grow and expand. I learned more than once that I would sick in the quicksand. Looks like my future was headed to remand. Listen to my problems, you'll start to understand. She, she was digging herself in a deep, deep hole. No one knew when or how she was to grow. So many boys and girls with a messed up life. But it's never too late to change and make it right. You see this big, bad monster almost took over me. The doctor called it cancer, said it can't be beat. I was forced to quit my job. I couldn't stay on my feet. I lost weight. I lost hair. I lost all my sleep. I tried to raise two kids with no cash or to daddy, and that shouldn't have been a given just because I'm a matey. I never had cash, but when on shopping sprees, I had a bad attitude. I take it for free. But I only blame me when I ended up in jail. Like I said, no cash, no money for bail. Repetitive actions from rats and tattletales couldn't even trust the guards that were full of betrayal. I felt bad for my mom. She never took it so well. I know she'd much rather see me up in that five-star hotel. But I thank God, I thank the Creator that my family helped me every time I fell. You understand the problems from the stories I tell? She, she was digging herself in a deep, deep hole. No one knew when or how she was to grow. So many boys and girls with a messed up life. But it's never too late to change and make it right. And I want to leave you with that. That it's never too late to change and make it right. Thank you. Thank you for that, uh, Sheena. Beautiful. So now we'll move on to our, our next uh, portion, which is our doctor's panel. So, Gimukshi Asukina Geeks ni Tapuka Kiyao. Our doctors are very smart. So, we're going to have their panel in, in our way when we ask people to, to encourage our, our group. We'll say, Gya kita bai gachki min. Gya kita bai gachki min. Please encourage, please lift up the people with your words. So we're going to ask our, our next panel to do that for you all. And it's going to be uh, moderated, led by our, our C COO, Saakwina, Cash Shade. And uh, so with that, Cash, the floor is yours. Need sit the buy-in. Thank you for that. Sheena, that was, that was beautiful. Um, just want to give a, another hand for Sheena and, and her words today. Um, just want to uh, give a bit of an intro to our, our, our youth physician panel before they, they come up. There was a bit of a change with, our, with our, uh, one of our physicians, Dr. Chief Moon, uh, Kat Riley Chief Moon. She was just at the tail end of an ER shift in Pincher, so she wasn't able to join us today. But the beauty of, of our reserve is we have so many physicians from our community and actually so many youth physicians that, that you'll hear from today. Um, I'd like to call up to the stage Dr. Shea Eaglebear, Dr. Haley Shade, and online Dr. Neil Fox. So we're gonna kind of keep this a little informal. Uh, Neil, can you hear us online? Yeah, I can, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. So just want to kind of, for those of you that haven't had the pleasure to meet uh, some of our physicians, um, we, like I said, we do have six physicians altogether from the Blood Tribe, medical doctors. Um, we did want to, to, to highlight the youth uh, physicians that we have. Uh, I still consider us youth, Shay, Neil, even though we're, we're getting up there. Um, but uh, we do have some really well, um, some veteran physicians as well with Dr. Tailfeathers and Dr. Sue Christensen. So just want to acknowledge them as well. 
And uh, just to kick off, um, we'll do a bit of a, a Q&A style. I'll, I'll um, turn it over to each of you for, to share a little bit about yourself. And, and just to start, if you can just introduce yourself, um, briefly describe a bit of your family background, and any early influences that you'd like to share to our youth today um, that might have got you started on your on your career path. I'll start with here in the room with Dr. Uh, Eagle Bear, and then we'll go to Dr. Shade, and then we'll go to you, Neil. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm happy to be here. Um, do I need to stand, or can I sit? <laughs> I'm going to sit. I, I was working in ER yesterday, too. So, um, so yeah, just a little background about myself. Um, let's kind of start. Uh, my parents are Connie Tailfeathers uh, and the late Vern Eagle Bear. Um, I grew up on the reserve, kind of in the Bullhorn area, just off of St. Paul's Road. Um, went to school and finished my high school education in Cardston. Um, after high school, I then uh, moved to Medicine Hat. Uh, originally, I wasn't actually going to be a, a, a medical doctor. I was going to go into optometry. Um, so I did, did some training in, in Medicine Hat for two years, then I uh, did some further education at the U of L, uh, so I finished my bachelor's of uh, biochemistry there, um, and then I applied to med medical school. Um, I did my medical school at the University of Alberta in Edmonton, so that was for four years, and then I did my family medicine residency there uh, in Edmonton, uh, kind of the, the Stony Plain area there. Um, just a little more information. So, um, you know, I've I've always been a bit of a well, I don't want to say um, had a bit of a hectic hectic life uh, myself. Um, again, my father passed away when I was when I was quite young. I was I think seven years old when he passed away. Um, so my mom uh, mom raised me and my brother, and um, yeah, she was a a good influence on us, and she pushed pushed us hard to to continue our education, and that's kind of what I what I did. Um, now, when I finished high school, um, started my family a little early. I had a, a kid two two months into my my post secondary schooling, um, so it's been a it's been a lot of work. Um, I've been working in Cardston uh, in the standoff. My work at the standoff clinic here. I've been almost seven years. So I started back in 2016. Um, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy uh, helping people in the community, helping people in the emergency. Um, it can be an exciting, exciting uh, place to be. Uh, uh, Friday night, it can get pretty, pretty crazy. Um, you see a lot of stuff in the Cardston ER. Um, yeah, I have, uh, I have five kids now, so a few more. Uh, so it keeps me busy. Um, I like spending time with them. I uh, do a lot of things to kind of keep myself occupied. I, uh, uh, you know, keep busy with outdoor activities, uh, do some snowboarding, uh, play lots of golf. So playing lots of golf right now. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I'd say just kind of a little uh, words of encouragement. Um, yeah, you know, we, as um, generally as as a First Nations community, we have a lot of a lot of barriers, a lot of um, struggles that kind of put us at a disadvantage. And um, just want to let you know that you know we. We can, you guys can, can, can accomplish your goals. Um, I don't know. I've, I've had, I even had a, a university professor who, um, when I, when I told them that I was going to be applying to medical school, he, he didn't think I would be a good fit. And um, here I am, proved him wrong. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the, the career I've chosen. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said. Um, you guys can do anything, so keep keep trying hard.
Oki Nistone Danico Omkamot Staki. My name is Haley Shade. Um, I'm the daughter of Cam and Crystal Shade. And I just recently graduated medical school at the University of Calgary. And I will be starting my residency in general surgery at the University of Calgary for the next five years. So the first uh, physician from our reserve to train as a surgeon. I'm really looking forward to that. A little bit about my journey. Um, I did my biology degree at the University of Lethbridge, graduated in 2021 and started medical school that year. I think I knew probably since high school that I wanted to be a physician. I don't think it was till medical school that I decided I wanted to be a surgeon. Similar to Shay, I had um, my high school physics teacher actually told me that I wasn't very good at physics and that uh, she didn't think that I was also going to be a physician. And so I think from her kind of doubting me initially in high school, it really inspired me to want to keep trying to become a physician. And so I'm really honored and um, grateful to be here. So thank you for having me. And uh, importantly, I really want to encourage our youth that you can be a physician, but you can also go on and be a surgeon. I know there aren't very, um, there's not a lot of Indigenous surgeons here in Alberta or in the country. And so I really want to show people that that is also a path that you can take. And I think what I love about surgery is being able to use my hands to solve a problem. Um, I really like seeing a lot of our community members um, in clinics and being to, uh, like, able to help them in surgery. And um, it's just something I've always been really passionate about. And I really would like to come back to the South Zone to operate in Lethbridge. And that's always been something that is what I would like to do with my career. And I'm really passionate about trying to inspire the next generation of physicians. So myself and the Indigenous Health Office at the University of Calgary have done some outreach to try to connect with youth and share a little bit more about applying to medical school. We've done a few events in um, Kainai here and in Siksika, and then we're here at the fair today. And so I would say for students that are interested, it's a very long journey, but it's very rewarding. And you can do whatever you set your mind to, and there will certainly be a lot of people. I had people even in medical school tell me that they didn't think that I was gonna be a surgeon. And so I'm really um, glad to be here today, and I know that you guys can do it too. And I guess outside of medical school and now residency. Um, I'm a huge Calgary Flames fan. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I like to golf and um, I really like Elvis Presley. And so part of my graduation trip, I actually went to Graceland to see Elvis's home. Uh, so a little bit about me, but thank you for having me today. Yeah, I think I forgot to mention that they're all Calgary Flames fans, so it's a bonus. <laughs> Neil? Okay, yeah, you can hear me okay? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. I just always want to check. Okay. I'm Oki Hidamik Skanatini. Nistinadaniko Nadusapi. Um, good morning, everyone. Thank you for to the panel for inviting me this morning to, uh, I guess, share some experience and try and encourage our youth um, towards different, different, um, I guess, paths, education, healthcare, whatever it's going to be. So yes, thank you. Thanks a lot for inviting me. I really appreciate it. Um, so a bit about myself. I'm I'm from the reserve, so I'm from from the Bud Tribe. Um, I grew up in Moses Lake. Uh, my parents still live there. <laughs> so my, my dad's Elliot Fox, my mom's um, Lanny Blackwater. She's a nurse that still works on the reserve. Um, and then my grandparents I'm from uh, Tail Feathers family, Fox family. So Georgette um, Tail Feathers, Norbert Fox, and then other side of the family is Blackwater. So Gilbert and Imelda Blackwater. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, so. A bit, a bit more background. So I went to U, uh, high school and all of, I guess, grade grade one to grade twelve in, in Cardston. So I grew up um, on the in Moses Lake. Went to school in Cardston all through and graduated from Cardston High School. Um, after that, I went to U of L, where I did my uh, bachelor's degree in neuroscience. Um, and during that time I had a family as well. And I know Shay mentioned one of like adversity and challenges. So uh, like Shay, I, I had a family, a young family right at the beginning of my, um, my degree program. So a year into it, we had our son, uh, my wife and my wife, Sherman, and I had our son in 2007. So completed my degree at U of L, um, decided I wanted to go into med school kind of later on. So I, I, 
I wanted to, I knew I wanted to be a doctor in high school. Got pretty tough at the beginning of my, my time at U of L. Got a bit discouraged, had some challenges, um, kind of changed directions. And then towards the end of my degree, I think the last two or three years, I really decided I wanted to push for med school again. So, um, yeah. It was, I think, two years of really hard work, having a kid, really trying to, you know, do as best as I could in in, in university at the end of it. And then uh, uh, applied to U of A, uh, U of C, um, and chose to go to U of A because they have a, a really good Indigenous uh, application process that I'm still part of to this day. So, um, yeah, I went to U of A, did med school there. I actually went to school with Shay for a couple of years. So he was two years ahead of me. So we, I think we went to school together for what, a year or two. So yeah, it was great to kind of have some uh, mentor and somebody to talk to through school. Um, after I graduated, I knew I wanted to be a family doctor because I knew I wanted to practice on reserve. So I applied to UBC. Um, they have an indigenous family medicine program. So got accepted into that luckily. And then I spent two years on Vancouver Island in uh, Cowichan. So that's right, that's in Duncan on, on uh, Vancouver Island. Um, did two years there, completed my, my residency, and then we moved back immediately. So I graduated, I think, in Jul- like July's when, when you graduate residency, and then we moved back like the week after. And I started working in Six Siga and then down in Standoff um, immediately. So... Yeah, I've uh, ever since then I've continued to practice on reserve. So I, I still work down south, um, doing a lot of virtual medicine and telehealth. So work on the blood reserve. I work in Six Siga, and I work in uh, Sutina. Um, yeah, I think um, a, a bit more, I guess, encouragement and words of advice. I think it's really important, especially to keep that sense of identity. Um, I'm really glad that you guys are putting this on. I think it's really important for kids, um, the community to see examples of what's possible, right? I think we all from the community know what it's like growing up and we have shared experience of, of a lot of challenges, right? Um, and adversity that we have to go through even on like a daily basis. So, um, I think it's really important. I think that's, it's good because it, it, it kind of teaches us even at a young age, how to be resilient um, and, and how to just keep kind of pushing and working and working towards goals. So um, I think that's really important. I think having grown up on the reserve, I grew up in Moses Lake, but I spent a lot of time at my grandpa's, uh, my grandpa's house near standoff. It's, I don't even know what the area is called up there. It's not, I don't even know if it has a name, but Blackwater. So it's kind of, like 10 minutes, you know, about east, southeast of, of standoff. So, um, grew up there. I know how it's, what it's like to grow up there. I know that the surrounding communities aren't always the greatest. I know there's lots of racism. I know there's lots of challenges, but, um, it's, it does kind of tease Elian, like I said, and it's, it, it, um, it's a good experience to go through. I think there's a lot of opportunities, especially now for, Um, our Indigenous youth, even the admissions process through U of A that I'm still part of, we're really trying to start new outreach programs to kids um, in high school Uh, because, you know, we all know universities are really, really hard and it's it's tough even to get to that point. So I think if we can start, you know, getting youth that are already in high school and encouraging them and trying to get them already in this process, it's just going to be help us get more professional. So I'm always um, encouraging people to go into medicine because I think it's great and I think we need more doctors. I think it's really good to help our communities, but I think it's important that we have professionals in all sorts of fields, right? And I think this is just a good good to have because it shows everybody, again, what's possible. Um, I think that's about it. So I guess I'll pass it back to Cash. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. Wow, that, that's that's awesome. So inspiring to hear from from the physicians. Um, like you said, your backgrounds are rooted on on the reserve, Bullhorn, and I think Haley too has roots in Bullhorn as well. And Neil with Moses Lake, and I know Dr. Chief Moon um, from the Laverne community. Um, 
and you kind of already touched on the next question I wanted to ask, but um, just want to hear your thoughts on any strategies for, for balancing the demands of school with personal life. I know you, you guys did kind of mention that, but just if you can share any, any words of wisdom with that. Um, uh, so for myself, um, uh, let's see, uh, you know, just taking the time, uh, this is, this is a hard, hard line of work. Um, we see a lot of things in the ER, in the clinics, um, which at times can be, can be heavy to deal with. Um, you know, as, as physicians, we're, we're, our job is to keep, keep people healthy, keep them, um, keep them alive. Um, but you know, at times, you know, it, it, it's a person's time or sometimes we can't, you know, despite our efforts, we can't do, do everything to save, save patients. Um, so that, that, that can be a hard thing. Um, so f for me, you know, one of the things that I do, um, after, you know, working in say an ER shift is, um, kind of the, the old, old school mind for doctors was basically you work 24 seven, just keep working, keep working. Haley's going to be doing that for about five years with her surgery residency, but it'll be, it'll be worth it. Um, but yeah, and I usually kind of take a personal day just to kind of kind of reset. Um, I wish I could sleep, but it's a bit hard with my kids, so they keep me up. <laughs> um, but just you know, staying active, um, you know, physically active, keeping you know your your mind healthy. You know, those are things you could do. You know, sports, like I said, just kind of you know recreational activities, exercise. Um, I found you know since. Since COVID, I don't know about any of you, but during COVID, kind of wasn't doing much, got a little lazy, started putting on the pounds, so I started to exercise every day, and I found that's been really good for my for my mental health. Um, and in the long run, as you get older, it's gonna be it's gonna be good for your body. So that's one way that I kind of manage that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'd say just uh, like I said, if you. Well, and, and I like to go on vacations too. So I, I say work, work hard, play hard. So anyways, there you go. I guess I can speak to my experience as recently graduated medical school um, and what that's like. So I wanna be honest in that medical school is very challenging. The first year and a half at the Calgary program, so I graduated from U of C, is lecture-based. So our day usually looks like we start lecture at about 8.30 and we go until 5.30. And so I'd have about maybe an hour or so to cook dinner, clean up, and then I'd study pretty much the rest of the evening. And then the last year and a half of our program is all um, on hand, or sorry, on like hands-on rotations in the hospitals, we call that clerkship. And so I would say that the way that I tried to stay balanced was for the first years of medical school, I actually had enough time that I could still play rec hockey. So I'd play about two times a week with a team called Treaty 7 in Calgary. And so I did that for the first two years. And I'm really lucky to have gone to Calgary. Not only I want to put a plug in for our Indigenous health program, they've supported me so much in my journey um, at the medical school. They do a lot with admissions. Um, they were able to help me if I needed tutors, um, helping connect me to write letters for scholarships. They did so much for me. And so I really relied on that office for support. And luckily, being uh, going to medical school in Calgary, it's only two hours from back home. So my parents would either come up on the weekends to see me, or I would drive home um, at midnight sometimes after my shift just to come home to see them. So that's definitely one benefit of the Calgary program, if any of you are interested, is that it is really close to where we are now. So you can definitely still see your family. And I think like Shay said, uh, the reality is of being a physician, it is very demanding. I remember one time we started an operation at 8 p.m. and we finished it the next day at 5 a.m. So we didn't sleep and we operated. There was a patient who unfortunately had his hand crushed by a hydraulic press. So we stayed throughout the night to uh, basically reattach his hand to his arm and saved his hand. He lost a few fingers, but his hand actually still works now. 
Um, so I think just kind of in summary, making sure to stay balanced, being connected to family and friends, using the supports that your program has for you, whether that's um, counselors. I started going to counseling to kind of um, help me man manage and navigate some of those challenges that we face as physicians, and then staying connected to my family and still doing the things that you love. I know that as physicians, uh, certainly, we're a profession that does work hard, but like Shay said, play hard. So I always go to Flames games. I always see my family, um, still got to go to Stampede, things like that. So it definitely is possible. And just to have really good strategies and to ask for help when you need it. Neil, any uh, strategies to share on balancing the demands of school with personal life? Um, yeah, so I think it's, it, it's, re it's really tough. I think it, I can try and say like a perfect, there's no perfect answer. I think you kind of have to learn as you go through it. It's, it can be tough. I think, um, the, the good thing for me, you know, when I got into university, I was kind of forced to start prioritizing things early because I had a, um, I, we had a kid, you know, pretty like young and then right while me and my wife were both in, in a uh, university and college. So, it, it's, um, I would say it's, it's tough, but you kind of have to try and learn how to prioritize things. For, um, I think having a connection to whatever it is that people, you know, have their support system, whether that's family or friends, I think it's really important just to have some, that to kind of go back to because it, it is difficult. I think, yeah, med school is really tough, but, you know, university, undergrads, really difficult as well. So, um, so I would say, yeah, maintain that connection. I think I go back to identity. I think that's really important, especially in our communities. It's um, you don't really realize until you travel away from the community how unique and special um, it is to be part of. Right. Like we have our own language. I'm still trying to learn the language and teach my kids the language. So I think it, it's really it, it gives you a sense of identity and a sense of you know, there's always a group of people that are pushing for you and that are, that have that shared experience because university can feel isolating at times, right? There's still, although we're trying to get more, more Indigenous students, there's not a lot of us there and it's, it's tough, right? So it can feel isolating. So I always tell people to find, main, try and maintain that, that sense of identity, um, go back to the support systems and then uh, reach out. I think there's a lot of different resources like at U of L. Um, I, I, I don't know if Rhonda Crow still works there, but she was like really big in helping me. Um, you know, there's mentors at the university. I was a mentor while I was at U of L. There's tutors if people are having difficulties. I had to get, I, I like my, I think it was physics that I, I just couldn't wrap my head around. I still can't wrap my head around it, but it was a part of the requirement to get my degree and get into med school. So that was tough for me. And I reached out and she, she helped me get a tutor who was like, uh, I think he was a master's student in, in physics. So, you know, just like, trying to reach out. There's a lot of different resources. There's scholarships, there's mentors. There's, um, even though it might not seem like it, there's a, a big group of people that are really pushing for you and, and trying to give you like the best opportunity possible. So. Thanks, Neil. <clears throat> Thanks for, uh, I was waiting for you to, to say something about bad influences. I think I might have been on one of your blacklists in maybe high school and not, not so much university, but thanks for that. Uh, I do want to give the audience a chance to maybe ask a question or two. Um, not sure, Elena, if, you, if, you, uh, if there's anybody that has a question for the physicians before we, we begin to wrap up. I think we can get a mic out to anybody. Any questions? Don't be shy. Oh, there's one. Check. Since we're talking to youth who maybe want to consider a similar career path to you, um, in your work, what do you think in the future we're going to need more of so that they can kind of get that in their minds and be thinking, hey, I'd like to be one of those because these doctors here think we're going to need more of those people in the future? Is there certain areas that are lacking people right now? Um, just in my experience at the moment, um, you know, the, as far as 
like medical issues like diabetes and heart disease. Um, you know, as, as physicians, we're pretty good at dealing with that. Um, one area that I think the healthcare system kind of struggles a bit uh, is with like mental health, um, social work. Um, those are big things that um, I think those would be areas that definitely we would need more people involved with. Um, you know, even just on the reserve here, it's, it's you know, there's a lot of things with, um, you know, addictions and, and mental health that, um, you know, I think if we had more resources, had more people in that area, um, that would definitely help with that, with that kind of management of, of that area of medicine. Um, I know there is people on the reserve now, you know, doing that, but um, yeah, there's lots of work to do and that would be a really good area to be in. Um, you know, I think, yeah, I think that's, that's kind of the big area that I would say. Um, again, more physicians, more, more dentists, more, you know, really anything. I think um, even just seeing the benefit of having more, more doctors on the reserve has been, has been awesome. Um, yeah, like I said, there's lots of areas, even paramedics. We've got a lot of paramedics on the reserve, and I, I feel like they're pretty busy too. It's a... It's an exciting area as well, so that's kind of what I think. I would say, I'm, I know I'm just starting my career, so it's a bit of a different scenario than some of the other physicians here, but for the youth that are interested in wanting to pursue medicine, I would say to pursue something that's going to make you happy, because at the end of the day, you're the person that needs to do this job, and you don't want to be in a position um, in medicine where you're not happy, and that was something for me that I, when I got into medical school, I wasn't exactly sure what type of doctor I wanted to be, and I just, it was a perfect storm of meeting some of the, you know, my mentors to this day who are surgeons, and I kind of decided early on that that's what I wanted to do for myself, and uh, just had really great mentors and explored that more. But importantly, like I said, something that you will be happy in. And I know that as a surgeon, while I might not be explicitly operating here on the reserve, still being able to advocate for Indigenous people in surgery, being a familiar face and um, representing us more in that discipline is something that I take really seriously. And so I think just in summary, do something that's gonna make you happy. We certainly need more healthcare professionals and don't let people tell you that you can't become a surgeon because you can. And you know, I'm proof that that can happen for anybody. And I think more people, especially indigenous people need to become surgeons because I know I'm just starting, like I said, but it's an awesome career and I'm really happy with the direction that I'm going. <clears throat> Neil? Um, yeah, could you, was the question just about, I guess, in the future, what, what, uh, where we would need more professionals? Is that kind of what it was? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I think it's, you know, I think in every field that we look in, we can always use more professionals. I don't think there's a, um, you know, you pick kind of what it is, like my, my brother is a lawyer, even in there, like that field, they're always trying to recruit um, more students to go into that field. I'm biased because I think, you know, medicine's, you know, great because it's, it's so important to our health. Um, not only like physical, mental health, but now we see this um, opioid crisis on our, on our reserve in our communities, right? So um, it addresses that. It, it, it just addresses a lot of things in the community, but I think it's, I think it's important to just kind of Set your your mind on on a goal. I, I'm really um, for education. I think it's important that we get all these different fields. You know, athletes, whatever it is. I think it's important to just um, you know push for something, and then you serve as a good role model for the community. So, yeah, I think uh, whatever it is you choose to go into, I think there's there's no shortage of um, yeah opportunities and, and and roles that need to be filled. So, thank you, Neil. I think that about wraps up our, our time here. I just want to again thank the uh, physicians for taking the time out of their busy day. Dr. Eagle Bear, Dr. Shade, and, and Dr. Fox, thank you for joining us and sharing uh, your words of wisdom with the youth today. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for inviting me. <clears throat>
you guys have a gift waiting for you. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yes, thank you to our doctors, to Dr. Eagle Bear. Uh, you will be an old man. To our other physician, you will be an old woman. Uh, just a reminder to everyone who's, uh, who can hear me, we have yellow vests, our security. We have orange vests for people if you need support, em emotional, mental health support as well. It means go beyond. Go beyond your limits. Stamika. Jay Skip started us off with a big word with you. I was just thought he was just going to say oops, <laughs> you know, that. <laughs> but we got some encouragement. Okay, next. Any Blackfoot word you know? Iksuka. Iksuka. Wow. We're getting conversational words. Iksuka. Good one. Next. Knowing our language and our culture, so that was my first step to taking my educational journey. And then the second one was um, my indigenous mental health because what we're facing on the reserve. So right now, right now, what I'm doing is all the the work, <laughs> sitting at the computer, collecting the data, so we could in turn go back to that data and see that what we need compared to what's on the reserve. So it's going to help us collect everything together. So we're going to be having focus groups, so look out for that. You guys, your voices matter, just like when I was young, I always wanted to speak up and say what I wanted to say, so that would be an opportunity if you have an interest in that area. But, and so that's what we're doing, and this is my team, Keely. Okay, Mr. Anako Kapoyaki, Dos to meet Sokskina. Hello, my name is Keely Wadsworth. I uh, grew up in the Bullhorn, Bullhorn area. Uh, I'm currently finishing my Aboriginal Health degree at the University of Lethbridge. I'm doing a practicum at uh, the Kanae Wellness Centre. Um, yeah, I'm really, really glad and thankful to be a part of the Sukina Gyat B team. Um, I'm working with some really great uh, uh, community members from Kainai and and it's it's proud and it's inspirational that we get to serve as the first all kind of team working in an academic uh, institution. So, yeah, thank you. And finishes this summer. Yes, then it on They had a they had a drum crew amongst amongst the the um, inmates there. So I started getting into that. You know, just trying trying to connect with my spiritual, you know, higher power again. And that's what really helped me. And then I got out on my start release March uh, 2021. And then um, I was talking to my biological mom every day while I was there, you know. A month before I was getting out, you know, the mom that did raise me, Brenda, they chief uh, she passed away while I was like, you know, a month almost to come ready to come home. And then that, you know, kind of brought up all these emotions again and, you know, all that pain, that grief. But I think me getting help from my grief with my grandma and my brother, you know, talking to the elders while I was still there, that really helped me, you know. All right, I believe it is Derek, you said? Derek Fox is going to come up to the stage. We are going to do a health career scholarship presentation. Right? With all of the above and with cash shade as well. And carrot tail feathers. Um, I do have two mics, so check, check one, two. We are set. I'll give them to you guys and y'all can share. 
Okay. Thank you, Sheena. And again, thank you for coming to our community. Uh, thank you for sharing your story as well. Um, can we give Sheena a round of applause? So again, just want to say thank you to all of you for coming today. Um, part of our health fair too, uh, we had a, a committee that looked at um, applications for the scholarship for the kids. And again, uh, we set the criteria and it kind of breaks our heart. We had about 12 applicants, uh, all very, very well written, lots of support. Unfortunately, again, it was very close. We could only select, um, we had originally said four, but there was a tie, so we had five um, scholarships, $1,000 each. And again, just want to encourage all of you to continue to apply as far as we're looking at this next year. Uh, we want to continue to encourage all of you. Again, there's many careers. Um, we're looking at specifically the health careers, but uh, just encouraging you as far as, as you've heard from our physicians, uh, from our speakers, just uh, how strong it is to continue your education and the, the doors that it opens, the opportunities. As you heard from them, uh, work hard so you can play hard as well too. So with that, again, you know, just want to uh, acknowledge we'll have Kara, our HR, kind of announce our, our winners for, for this year's uh, health scholarships of $1,000 each. So we, again, like Derek said, the stories were really awesome. Every person who applied for the scholarship was really, truly inspiring. Um, my hat's off to you for all of you. Doesn't matter which career you're going to, as long as you keep trying hard in everything that you do. Um, the first one for the scholarship is Haley Shade. Lonnie Wells. Eat Naka Mountain Horse. Dawn Chief Moon. Estelle Big Sorrel Horse. And again, we're planning to have this annually, so encouraging all of our students to apply as far as for next year's um, Blood Tribe Department of Health, uh, Health Scholarships. Um, so again, don't want to take up too much time. We're all anxious for the uh, uh, Matt Mac um, concert that we're going to hear shortly. And again, thank you, Sheena. Awesome, thank you. Yes, I just want to reiterate on that a little bit. I think that's so important and amazing that they have these scholarships available. Um, I know you guys probably hear it from every speaker, every presenter that, you know, that comes up here, that comes to talk, how important education is. And it, I mean, it's not impossible if you don't finish grade 12, but it is so much harder. And I know that from experience, like being a very, very young mom that I was, I didn't finish school. 
Aside from that, I was expelled from our entire county when I was younger. And then I had to go back as an adult. And then I had to go back again. And then I had to go back again just to get my grade 12. I don't even know if I needed it, but I wanted it. I wanted to feel that accomplishment. So I think it's really important. It's amazing that you guys get these opportunities, that you guys get people to come out and talk to you, that you get the scholarships. I think, you know, it's a, it's, it's a blessing for sure. Um, I know everybody is eagerly waiting and hopefully we can let everybody else know that's still eating to maybe come back. Come back to the gym. We have an incredible performance coming up for you. A blind music producer and recording artist, Matt Mack, has harnessed his melodic pop trap beats and inspiring story, quickly establishing himself as one to watch on the national scene with, listen to this, more than 30 million streams across platforms. Critical acclaim across all media outlets such as CBC, CTV, Virgin Radio, and so much more. With two award-winning albums under his belt, he has amassed a long list of accolades early on in his career. Some of these include CBC Searchlight 2023 winner, International Indigenous Hip Hop Awards 2023 Album of the Year, Canada's Walk of Fame RBC's Emerging Musician Award winner 2022, Rap Electronic Album of the Year at the Summer Solstice Indigenous Music Awards 2022. Broadcast Dialogue Emerging Artist, Radio Award 2021, and so much more. On top of these awards, Matt Mack has hit number one on Indigenous Music Countdown for not one, but two singles, Paradise and Res. He's hit top 50 on the media-based charts in 2020, and his music has been featured on a few Spotify editorials such as New Music Friday Canada, Northern Bars, and All New Hip Hop. You guys, put your hands together and please welcome to the stage, Matt Mack. Hey, you'll be enough. Matthew Monius is from the remote Garden Hill First Nation. Keep your hands together and welcome Music to the producer stage, Matt and recording Mack. artist Matt Mack is making waves. Thank you, Matt Mack. Thank you for uh, still supporting the show, yeah. even though you're in the States. Love that. And uh, we love your music and everything you do. It's great. It's super fantastic. Recording artist Matt Mack. He joins us live. Come on, y'all, let's go. This is called Give It Time. But it ain't about the fun, yeah We big in circles, but we holding on a grudge Been feeling lost, I don't know who to trust Because I can't help overthinking, I feel stuck Now you wonder why I'm calling up the place 
luck All these people talking but there's nothing to I've been waiting for my time to come Been going crazy And my mind is numb The light is fading Cause we're dying young This life's amazing Feels like I am just give it time And I'll be fine Yeah, yeah Blood Tribe, how's it going? Yeah I just want to say, I want to say I'm super happy to be here and um Always, it's always good. I always, I always, I always like to travel, so um, it's just always just to see new, interesting places and to um, meet different people from uh, different reserves. So um, yeah, this, uh, this I'm gonna keep playing more songs for y'all, and uh, I appreciate y'all for having us out into your community and to come out here to be a part of this uh, event with y'all. So yo, give yourselves a round of applause for just showing up, y'all. Make some noise, y'all. Let's go. This next song is called This next one is called Embrace. Gotta make it on my own Too much isolation in it, let me feel alone Trying to stay crazy, still so much you don't know You take the pain whenever time you call me home Your problems getting worse, now you're calling me joke. You can't even see my effort as I'm putting this way Tell me how we get here in the first place Give my lungs out, the know if not hurt I've been dealing with depression I'm stressed upon me, I've been dealing with some extra The world stay cold, so I'm not keeping spread out Gotta keep an eye out for the ones that wanna set us up I know what you try and do and I can never let you They see success on me, they run need next they the only chase, so they want it. Bad baby press on me every time I'm at all. I got it with all this fear, now she can't forget us. We still feel stuck, no focus. Problems add up, make a hard coping. Don't wanna leave all my emotions in the open. Feeling like I'm drowned, supposed to be flowed. They say all things come to pass, and so lately I've been feeling numb to that. I only hope my emotions last time. Run full speed, going fast, and I'm trying to get away from the place. Lately I've been feeling out of place I'm thinking about a past I can't erase Focus on a dream I chase I can't let go now I want to feel your embrace, feel your embrace Can't let go now, can't let go now
Tribe. tribe. What's going on, y'all? Make some noise. All right, all right. Again, like I said, I'm super happy to be here and um, you know, in the, the beautiful um, lens here. It's, um, I come here and it's like, I smell uh, the air and it's like, it's, uh, it's not Manitoba air, that's for sure. So, <laughs> yo, shout out to y'all. Y'all do, y'all amazing. So, Manitoba air. Isolation? Yeah. Here's a song called Isolation. Insecurities with their help and clearing things, yeah. Still ain't trusting nobody. They say they love me on breath and try to talk about me. Family been depending on me, gotta make sure they eat. Walk my feet on the duty day, cause we sure can't see. I graduated and now my mama says she proud of me. So many behind me look up to me, I got a man. Catch any flights so I'm alone, feel like I can take it. I know my zone strong, got me faded. I should be leveling when they got us money, now I'm golden. They talk on me, but I ain't hear where what they say. I should win and got this paper, make any moves. I'm just trying to get my pay up, yeah. I on a prize, I'm just letting for the moment. I keep it real envision, just a tell it come on slowly. Coming from the rest, how they deal with all this isolation. Taking all this breath, now that's in my song, crossing this. I've been filming city to city. Imagine what I make, all this pain, drama, and envy. Imagine what I'm facing when legit started the busy. See, I see where they hit. Get your own, get on your mission. See, all that takes patience. Yeah, I'm so blind and famous, that's my occupation. Yeah, no, it ain't no change in this operation. Oh, I just met you, babe, now I'm on a playlist. Hey, I just met you, babe, now I got a naked. When I wrote this, I was working on the reservation. Now they can't say that we're not up in a conversation. Did this stuff for blood, try the one who got to shake it. If you ain't real, you are not at all. I should be leveling when they got his money, now I'm golden. They talk on me, but I ain't hear a word of what they say. I should win and got his paper, make any moves. I'm just trying to get my pay. Up, yeah, I own a prize, I'm just living for the moment I keep it real indigenous, they tell her come on slowly Coming from the rest, I did deal with all this ice Stacking those bread, not a sandwich I should be leveling when they got us money and I'm golden They talk on me, but I hear a word what they say I should win and got this paper, making new moves I'm just trying to play, uh. I own a prize, I'm just living for the moment I keep it real indigenous, I tell it come on scold Coming from the rest, how they deal with all this ice Stacking those bread, not a same as some cross the nation Alright, that song's called Isolation, y'all Hey yo, blood trial, y'all still with me or what's up? What's going on? Make some noise, you guys! Yeah, I think, I think you guys can do better than that. Make some noise, you guys! Whoa. Yeah, it got louder, but a lot, some of you kind of tried less, but it's okay. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. You guys are, you guys are still, you guys are still cooling. You guys are still out there, so yay. You ever, um, you ever hit up your cousin and be like, hey, cousin, let's go for a ride. <laughs> and I say, I'll be like, let's go then. Let's go for a ride. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, J-Mac, I see you. 
cape, do you enough crew? Yeah, we make You better get used to the mirror to stay smoking this dude, yeah. And I'm catching a flight to WPG, yeah, I'm used to it. I hit up my manager, I tell him, bro, I'm gonna go make a deposit. I'm making a living, don't know why you're hating, I just want my family to eat. I keep to myself and I'm making my promise, I know they're hating on me. Dispensary and flower gon' be on the clouds, and now I'm just sipping my tea. I do what I can just to provide. She be like, damn, let's go for let me just flex on my self-care Am I only no one else here? Finally offered our welfare Been stacking up, hell yeah He's hoping these songs will sell, yeah Got enough fire to melt, yeah I'll be making these beats, feeding the flame If you don't know me, don't sp- Just came in the game, we live in the dream Been doing this every day, literally They say, yo, oh, Matt, go and get a degree yeah, I just get busy indigenously Mama be power as ever than a beast She knows that thousands are listening to me I'm big like a turtle, I'm getting the green Coming through the set What up to the fam The rep before the res Put us on the map They know I'm a threat But next to cute and plans To be remembered as the best Take it all and nothing less, yeah Res and I'm getting my pay Being a crew, yeah we make it You better get used to them here to stay Smoking this green, yeah I'm I'm catching a flight to go and teach you I'm used to it I hit up my manager, I tell him bro I'm gonna go make a deposit I'm making a living, don't know why I hate And I just want my family to eat I keep to myself and I'm making my promise I know they hating on me That's where the flower got me on the clouds So now I'm just sipping my tea I do what I can just to provide She be like, damn, let's go for it hey, Live it up, live it up Running these checks, I'm just having my fun She trying to call me and sit from a cup She knows I'm at that beginning of bus I got running out to the store Chat for a minute, yeah, they don't Yeah, let's go, yeah They don't know I'm focused I couldn't see what I've begun To anyone who ghosted When I used to get no love I was alone and hopeless But now I'm finally blown up Just wanna be the dopest Cause this music's like a drug Coming through the set What up to the fam Been rapping for the rest To put us on the map They know in the arm and flip But next to cute and plans To be remembered as the best Taking it all and nothing I'm still on the rest and I'm getting my pay Being a crew, yeah You better get used to them here to stay Smoking the zoo, get out of the way I'm catching a flight to WPG yeah, I'm used to it I hit up my manager, I tell him, bro I'm gonna go make a deposit I'm making a living, don't know why you're hitting I just want my family to eat I keep to myself and I'm making my promise And know that they're hitting on me This bitch made flower got me on the clouds So now I'm just sipping my tea I do what I can just to provide She be like, damn, let's go for a ride Let's go for a ride, eh? Let's go for a ride, eh? Let's try! Alright. Yeah. I think we should turn his vocal up a little bit. Alright, we're going to get in. Alright, alright, cool. Alright, so we got a couple more songs for you guys. And, um... Super happy to be a part of this, um, this, uh, this event that you guys got going on here. So, uh, yeah, make some noise for the uh, organizers, yeah? Cool. Income. All right, so I'm going to ask you guys a question. And I'm hoping that some of you guys might know the answer. Because it's a trick question. And no one gets this every single time. Anytime I ask this, no one gets it. But I'm going to I'm, I'm I'm have hope for you guys. So I'm going to ask you a trick question. It's a question that will make your brain work. And I, I can guarantee you, you'll be like, oh, my God, you guys. You're like, oh. So <clears throat> what do you call when you are making some sort of, when you make some sort of like pay? What, what is that called? And it's constant. Like when you get paid and you like do something, what is it called? What are you making? What is that paycheck called? Yeah? You get your, it's a salary, it's a paycheck, but you're also, it's called 
you're making income. That's what the, and that's what this song's called. Here's, here's a song called Income. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Hey, blood dry, how's it going tonight, y'all? Let's go. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Working through the finer things, yeah, I know what time it is, but I'm still pursuing that dream. Be grinding and I'm trying to live. Yeah, make my money, get busy away. I say to you, what would you do? So let me show you my truth. Yeah, you gotta get a kid love. Hey, cause the outcome is the income. So many try to hold it down. Too many voices all around. Try to hide it with the sounds But couldn't find my way Oh yeah, yeah The little thing in my mind Was telling me I was blind My destiny was to die Without a chance I would rise Put the passion in my soul It puts some back shit in my soul It puts the back in on his door And stay in and stay out I'm getting that green yeah, I know what time it is, but I'm still living that dream. Living that dream. Be grinding and I'm trying to live. Yeah, I make my money. Get the busy trying to win. I say to you, what would you do? So let me show you my truth. Yeah, you gotta get a key in love. Cause the outcome is the income. So many try to hold the check. But I hear what you say. What you say? I just came to entertain. Hey, don't try to get out of my brain. Yeah, yeah. We haven't been that fail. Brings the energy that's real. A remedy that can heal. We don't trust that can mail. But the passion in my soul, it puts some action in my soul. Now I'm stacking on this door. It's day in, it's day out. I'm getting that green. Yeah. Working for the finer things, yeah, I know what time it is. But I'm still a kid, we're living that dream, we're living that dream. Be grinding and I'm trying to live. Yeah, I make my money, getting busy trying to win. I say to you, what would you do? So let me show you my truth. Yeah, you gotta get a kid love. Hey, cause the outcome is the income. So, your blood drive, are you still with me right here? Are you guys still with me right now? I need y'all, I need your energy right now. Y'all still with me, y'all? What's up? I love that. You guys are amazing. As long as you guys know that. Your energy, the way how y'all are just here, I appreciate you guys for just coming out and it's vibing, you know? You guys are such a vibe, right? Make, give, it gives yourself a round of applause, y'all. All right. I'm going to take it back. Here's, a, here's an old song back from my um, 2020 album. Here's a song called Think Too Much, and this one's for all of y'all who... This one is for all of y'all who uh, deal with some sort of... If you think, if you like, if you feel like you just, a lot of the times, you just can't get, you just can't get your, can't get out of your head. I wrote a song about that, and this one's called Think Too Much. Yeah. 
in silence I'm having trouble just to hear myself Not really kidding what the time is And my crazy man I just can't tell I've been through the fire Back and forth from heaven and hell I've lost my desire Give me space cause I need to yell As I'm sitting here alone yeah, we just a body with a long soul and nowhere else. I think too much, like I'ma lose my head. So many die too young. Sometimes I feel like I'm next. To all my youngins, we stay struggling. This life is yours, you can get it how you want it. So let me feel these lungs. Let me use this. Sometimes all I'm gonna wonder is this all a lie? Will it come to an end? I just don't understand why. I get too close, I don't know why I try. I'm paranoid, it got me feeling like I'm gonna die young. But I'm thinking, in my thoughts, I'm sinking. I'm emotionally breaking, mentally broken. This life is yours, you can get it how you want it, yeah So let me feel these lungs Let me use this stress to overcome Yeah, 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 yeah Let me use this stress I think too much Like I'm gonna lose my head So many times I'm feeling right now, yo. Cool. I appreciate you guys for sticking around, vibe with us constantly. So, we're going to keep the music going. So, yeah. Yeah. I can do that. All right. I'll sing this one more song. Uh, actually, I have a couple more songs, not one more. I was gonna, um, I was about to end the set on you guys, but hey, I got something for you guys. So, yeah, I think that'll be good. Too. Okay. So, I wrote this song back in the. This is a long time ago. This song was. I wrote this back when I was um, still living in my mama's place. And um, I, uh, I always feel like I always have to apologize for telling the story of the song because if there's any, uh, if there's any educators in this building, I, I, I'm so sorry, but I kind of skipped out on class just to write the song. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this one's a song called um, Break Me Down, and I wrote this um, in the res, and it literally talks about, it literally just talks about, um, it literally, I'm like talking about you're making it and you have a goal in mind, but like you don't want things to like break you down because you're so far ahead and you have so much ahead of you. That's kind of my message to y'all. I just wanna, I just wanna say, if a blind guy can uh, play music for you guys here, I'm pretty sure you can actually achieve anything. Just put your mind to it. Just. This is all the mindset, just making sure that your mind's in the right place, so. 
you can still have a good time, but making sure that it don't affect your life, you know what I'm saying? So this, is, this song's called Break Me Down. I'm up in my mind again, damn, I don't know. I'm looking for them better days, I'm losing hope. I'm trying to be a better me, look at I become. I'm out here living my dreams now Ain't nobody gon' break me down I swear they wanna see me fall But I ain't gon' give up now I know I gotta break down the walls, yeah Growing up in the res, it wasn't always easy I remember feeling like life wasn't for me Searching for my dreams, trying to find my way out Searching for some answers, just to find some clarity Now I'm here, I'm looking back at them days I've come a long, long way I made a few mistakes, but I Know that I'll make it one day, yeah Found myself in this pain I couldn't do this by myself I got my mom to thank All the things you're going through Mom, it'll get better When I blow on I promise to send you letters I know this ain't easy to hear But I'm on my mind again Didn't matter, no I'm looking for them better days I'm losing hope I'm trying to be a better me Look at I become I'm out here living my dreams now Ain't nobody gonna break me See me fall, but I ain't gonna give up now. I know I gotta break down the walls, just know I'll be fine. Tribe, are you still with me? Are you guys still here? I appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. All right, so I'm gonna take it back to uh, 2020. My album, my uh, debut, a project. Uh, in incidentally, it was called 2020. You know, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, we were all kind of stuck in our houses, so I decided. I decided I was just gonna make some music, so that's what I did. Here's a song called Paradise. Yeah. I tried to. Man, like making vibes. Yeah. Hey, okay. I'm 
Ich habe ein Paradise, Paradise, was schlimmer als ein Paradise, Paradise. Das wird ja mein Paradise, Paradise. In trust me, that is ready to find, ready to find. You still live without a kid life, kid life. And now I am in Paradise, Paradise. I want you to not smell try, smell try. I just wanna share the night, share the night with you. Remember you my soul, the balance that I need. You challenge me in ways that help me to believe that you're my only hope. A place where I feel safe, a heart made of gold. That I will never change. You beautiful, I know that I will never waste this. Once you know that I'm so happy that we waited. We have a love that everybody out here chasing. You are my one, so here's my heart for you taking. So every day when I wake up, I can't believe my eyes. I feel like the deepest of my dreams are alive. I will take a lead. I just want to take some time to save my time. 'Cause when I'm with you, I'm in paradise. Paradise, I swear my eyes are paralyzed, paralyzed. Cause with you I'm in paradise, paradise. And trust me that it's red fire, red fire. You still live without a candle life, candle life. And now I am in paradise, paradise. I hold you down, swear I'll try, swear I'll try. I just wanna share the night, share the night with you. Love ya. Yeah. You are my love. You are my light. Like the sun, you help me shine through my pain and through our time. You never stray, you never lie. You my escape with you. I hide. We'll find our way. We'll share our lives. We have our love that will not die. Oh, will not die. Yeah. So every day when I wake up, I can't believe my eyes. I feel like the deepest of my dreams are alive. I will take a lead. I just wanna take some time, just save a time. Wish you I'm in paradise, paradise. I swear my eyes are paralyzed, paralyzed. 'Cause with you I'm in paradise, paradise. And trust me, that it's ready to fly, ready to fly. You still live without a candle light. In life, and that way I'm in paradise, paradise. I hold you down, smell try, smell try. I just wanna share the night, share the night with you. Hey y'all, I just wanna say real quick. I just wanna say thank you so much to to everyone, to like all of you guys for coming out, to um the health people to put us to put us on together, to my band Daniel and Daniel. I appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Let's do this one more time. Yeah. Okay. Come on, I look up. I can't believe my eyes. I feel like the deepest of my dreams are alive. I will take a lead. I just wanna take some time. Just take my time. 'Cause when I'm with you, I'm in paradise. Paradise. I swear my eyes are paralyzed. Paralyzed. 'Cause with you, I'm in paradise. Paradise. It's just me that is red fire. Red fire. He's in love without a kid life. And now I am in paradise, paradise. I hold you down, I smell try, smell try. I just wanna share the night, share the night with you. Blood try. That song is called Paradise, y'all. All right, I have one more song for you guys, and uh, before I do, before I uh, sing this last song, I want to say, uh, I just want to say thank you so much to uh, all the organizers and the all the uh, event coordinators and everyone who put this together. And uh, yeah, and uh, I know they're not here, but thanks to the uh, WestJet pi pilots for making sure that we were safe to make it here as well too. So, all right, here's a song called Res. Here's a song called Vez. This one's for all of you guys. Yeah. 
reminds me of the storms where you're walking. You can feel the past, hey. and there's no one no on to, and there's no one to pull you out. You keep on calling, the power always stalling. So you end up self-destructed. Young mama on the res with her sun blind, dirty white in the veins of a bloodline, simulated by a book to be one tribe. Dark history, no wonder with the sunshine. And you know that I'm gonna make it, cause we find a living for the day. We still feel like I'm crazy. That's the life we all live in. So many issues to fly by Trying to stay connected But I'm barely getting Wi-Fi Poor conditions have me in different So I try Going so little But so many keep a blind eye Not much to show you But I got my voice to offer How shortages Yeah, we still boiling water Isolated from the world But who the hell cares? It's a red flag Gospel for those who feel scared You heard that I'm okay Yeah, the story is But I got the strength from all She's my warrior I'm broken inside I'm find a way to open up Some place where many dreams get killed. Yeah, just sit in my room, I'm holding out hope. Yeah, yeah, we got some life we all live in.
How about that performance, though? One more round of applause for Matt Mack. Show some love. Man, that talent. Like he said, pointed out himself, if being a blind gentleman and being able to play and produce and perform, like, there's really no excuses. There is no excuses.